Hello everyone and welcome back to the Toxo series Get Help with Tanmay Mehta. Now as you all know this is a weekly series which we try to ensure to answer at least 3 questions every week which have been shared by all of you guys and these 3 questions are picked by my marketing team so that they see the relevance of having the right questions which are you know going to answer maximum number of people and obviously the questions are been shortlisted by Abhishek who is my marketing guy but at the same time He is not going to be the voice of your questions today. It is going to be my wife Rasika, who is going to be the voice of your questions. Because we are not in our office as of now, but we still are committed to all of you and ensure that we bring out all the you know answers to your questions, so that you are in the right place to make well-informed, wise, and correct decisions for anything to everything in the home cinema category. So let us begin. Rasika. Hey Tanmay. So there's a question from GV. Uh he's asking if we can use gray screen for Epson and can we take advantage of the contrast that Optoma has? Is it right? Okay. Uh so GV first of all uh, for any gray screen or ALR as they call it, uh the ALR long term projector screens or the gray screens, the benefit of those screens is that it enhances the contrast ratio and it enhances the black levels. So then you can achieve more deeper black levels. with those fabrics so obviously uh with any sort of projector okay not going for any particular brand but with any projector that you would select be it epson mentu optoma viewsonic any projectors but if you go for a gray fabric screen you will always and always get a better contrast ratio though you will compromise on the brightness but the uh, contrast will obviously be better in the gray fabric screen so in case you want to match the contrast levels of optoma projectors which epson may not have for instance then you can obviously use gray fabric screens but while you opt for this gray fabric screens please ensure two things one is that which room are you selecting this because your room ambiance light does matter in selecting the screen and the fabric of the screen and the second thing is that you need to know how many lumens is your projector uh, you know projector lamp has because the lumens of the projector will determine whether you need or your uh, or have you got enough brightness so that you can con- concentrate more on the contrast in case your projector has got less lumens then opting for gray fabric screens may not be an ideal case because you will again lose up on brightness further because of the gray screens uh, reflection gain being less so make sure to check out these two things before buying alr long throw projector screens or gray fabric screens next question thank you danmay so the second question is by mr jyotir moy roy he asks what about down firing subs where to keep them okay so jyotir moy very interesting question down firing sub buffers uh, so a lot of sub buffers let me first clear out a fact to all of you front firing sub buffers are where the drivers are placed in the front and they uh, through the uh base directly onto you so they hit you directly and generally front firing subwoofers can be kept in the front so that they can come directly to you now for down firing subwoofers the uh, the driver of the subwoofer is on the lower side which means that it is going to attack on the floor now in such cases the base is going to travel through floor and that base response may not be as great as a front firing subwoofer so keeping it at a far away location may not be an ideal choice so for down firing subwoofers it is always recommended and better to keep it very near to you so that they can give you the best uh, the best accurate base that you would want to enjoy in a movie or a music experience also one of the tip that i would like to give out here for any sort of subwoofers including the down firing subwoofers is that if you place a subwoofer in the corner you get three surfaces come together the lower surface the you know and the two side walls so when three surfaces come together you get an extra 9 db gain because each surface adds up to 3 db gain so when you place a subwoofer in the corner you would gain 9 decibels and for down firing subwoofers try to keep them as close to you as possible for high and more impactful views so i hope you got your answer jyotirman next question to you thank you tanmay so the third question is by mr alvin dcf he asked please discuss about short throw and long throw projectors also which one is the best okay uh, so alvin uh, very difficult to answer which one is best but i can at least uh, help you uh, clarify get clarification on 
the different types of projectors. So primarily there are three types of projectors. Number one is a regular throw projector, which is also a long throw projector. So typically a long throw projector for a hundred inch screen, you need to place it at a distance of 10, 12 feet. Now then the second type of projector is a short throw projector, wherein you have to place the projector at a, some, at a distance of four to five feet for the same hundred inch screen. And the third type of projector is the ultra short throw projector, which you have to typically keep at a distance of one to maximum one and a half feet for that hundred inch screen. Now, if that's clear to you, let us now jump onto the facts as to which projectors should be used for what application. Now, typically in a dedicated home cinema room, nobody would want to have a projector which is, you know, mounted right in the middle of the vision to the screen. So for that reason, it is always better to go for long throw projectors for dedicated cinema rooms. Now, if these three types of projectors are clear to you, let us move on to the second, uh, you know, the, fa the second side of it, which is the application side. Now, typically in a dedicated cinema room, you don't want any projector to come into the vision of your, uh, you know, vision of your experience. Like you don't want a projector hanging in the middle. And for that reason, people opt for a long throw projectors so that they can mount it at the farthest end and it does not come into your vision and it still gives you a very nice good experience for movie or games or music whatever you want to watch now at the same time the second type of projector which is the short throw projector is mostly used in conference rooms and few times now in the you know home theater applications wherein the throw distance or the you know mounting position is at a critical level wherein you want to mount the projector at four to five feet but one of the observations that we have seen is there are very few good projectors available in the home cinema category in the short throw domain. Now the third type of projector which we spoke about, ultra short throw projector, is a type of projector which right now primarily sells more into the living room applications because in the living room you want to have a 100 inch screen but you do not want a projector hanging from the far. So that's where you keep the projector very near to the screen, right below on the shelf. And through that, you can achieve a good 100 inch screen. So, this is the type of ultra short throw screens, the uh, ultra short throw projectors. Now, if these three things are clear to you, it will make you take wiser decision because, with regards to the brands and to the products, a uh, long throw, uh, ultra short throw, as well as short throw, all the projectors uh, companies have got these three options. Before we move on to the end of this particular episode of the Doxo series, let us see who is the winner. I think I would go with Mr. Jyotir Moy for asking one of the nicest questions that have come for the subwoofers. So, uh, thank you Jyotir Moy for asking that question on the right position for downfiring subwoofers. So, my team is going to get in touch with you so that you can get direct access with me forever. And to those of you who want to continue asking more such questions, then make sure to use the link that is shared in the description as well as it is pinned in most of our videos so that you can continue asking more such questions and more people can get enlightened with these kind of answers. And in case you want to design a custom home cinema solution, then a link for that is also shared. It is used by more than thousands of home theater buyers, especially in the Indian markets. So do check out that link. And for the last time, in case you want to connect with me directly and want to ask that question or want to ask your queries, then make sure to ask Aviba in the chat, in the description to get in touch with me over a T20 call, that is telephonic 20 minutes call, wherein you and I can talk more about your requirements, your solutions, and we can see what best we can do for you. That's it from my end. Once again, I Tanma Mehta, your home cinema consultant or home theater wale bhaiya. We'll see you again in my next video. Till then, make sure to subscribe and hit like in case you found this particular video valuable. Thank you so much.